All right, what's going on, guys? This is going to be a run defense video against a very unique formation, the Gun Heavy Panther, um, with the fast break Lamar Jackson quarterback. I've seen a lot of people using this um, in tournaments. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you stop this? Uh, I've seen a ton of people complaining on Twitter about stopping this. Um, it is kind of ridiculous that you don't fumble with the quarterback, um, but we're gonna get past that, and I'm gonna show you how to play run defense um, against this formation in particular. Uh, this formation uh, has a ton of guys blocking for you. So we've got nine guys at the line of scrimmage blocking for the quarterback, plus the halfback is also going to block as well. Um, the way I set up this defense is at the start is the same as we set up the pinch buck to um, against the other heavy runs is a baseline press. We're going to crash down. Because I, like I said in the other video, I think it puts him in better uh, run fits. Pinch, pinch. Now the reason for the pinch, pinch is this uh, this front five right here is going to match up against their guys one on one. They're immediately going to eat up blocks. Um, they're not going to allow guys to get to the second level as quickly um, as a spread out defense would. <clears throat> also, these linebackers, one of these guys is typically going to get free. Uh, because there's just not enough blockers in such a small compressed area in order to climb up to get them. What I do with the safeties is I will bring the safeties down all the way down here. Uh, you do have to be careful in salary cap. If guys uh, have like Marvin Harrison or you know receivers playing tight end, um, which definitely is possible, you don't necessarily need to do this because you're going to have better um, run support than they do blocking anyways. But just for this example, I bring my safeties down. I typically use her the safety on the wide side of the field. So right now we're in the middle. I'm just going to use her this left safety. This is the QB blast. Now you see the outside is protected by our corner. Since we're in that cover two, we have the corners in the run fits on the outside. The offensive line doesn't hardly get to move at all. They double down on the nose. The crash makes this right guard block down on the backside defensive end. They double down on the defensive end. We've got a one-on-one -on -one with a tight end and a linebacker here. And we've got both of our middle linebackers unblocked. So we've got one, two, three guys unblocked at the ball. It'll be a fourth, um, depending on what safety you use, if you do the show them the butt technique that I did in the other video. If you guys are unaware of that, you don't want to go watch the other video. You just want to see the uh, Heavy Panther run defense. Essentially, it's this. At the snap of the ball, just going to turn around. They can't really block you. And then you kind of just mirror the runner. And don't, like I said before in the other video, don't try to shoot down into the gaps. Just kind of eat up a blocker and then shadow the running back, force him to run into you. Um, there's really nowhere to go on that play. What if they go ahead and motion a guy over? Typically, they'll motion this guy or the other tight end. Makes it a little bit easier to get to the outside. Same deal applies. You can even, at this point, if you wanted to, shift your line over. Uh, you don't necessarily have to. But if this were the case, I would move this safety out a little bit wider, use this backside safety. Because now I know that they really want to run to the left. Corner does the outside run fit. Shuts down that outside edge. Boom. Runs bottled up. <clears throat> the other thing they'll do is... I think this tight end actually motions. Yeah, this guy motions into the backfield. That's fine. We're still good with our run integrity here. Bring the safeties down. He will always run up the middle on this defense. He won't go to kick out the outside guy. That blocker will always run up the middle on this defense, which is perfectly fine because now he'll target the linebacker, but guess what? Our, our user's free. So when our user's free, like I said before, we're just shadowing this quarterback. Show him the butt. We're unblocked. Outside corners are free. This middle is completely clogged. There's a little gap right here, little tiny gap, but that's where our user's gonna be. 
it's really hard to user and run at the same time, but that's where our user would end up being. Uh, it's all about just mirroring the guy, making him run into you. They're going to be running on conservative anyways with Lamar Jackson, so they're not going to try to juke you out. Run your guy into the gap or toward the direction of the run or show him the butt, either one you want to do, and then click off and let your uh, CPU make the tackle. You're not going to get juked because they, like I said, they are running on conservative. You'll see both hands over the ball. If they're not running on conservative, they won't have both hands over the ball, so you'll be able to notice. Crush the quarterback, make him fumble, get him out of heavy panther. Uh, the other run from this formation that gives people problems is the power because it has the pulling guard. Uh, I think this defense is exceptional against the power as well. All right, QB power. Same setup, crash down, pinch, pinch. Bring the safeties down, whichever one you want to use, doesn't matter. Snap the ball, they get the point guards. We're showing them the butt, showing them the butt. Boom. We have a linebacker that is free, who scrapes over to make the play. I don't know what our other middle linebacker is doing. I don't know why he blitzed down. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't happen every time. I may have clicked something wrong. But this backside linebacker is free. The corner comes down, sets the edge, forces him to cut that back up. We show the – I didn't do a great job of showing him the butt on this one. But basically, you just show him the butt, run away from him a little bit. They can't get their hands on you, and then you come up and help with the tackle. Typically, quarterbacks are not going to break that tackle against the linebacker. What if they do the QB power, and then they motion another guy over? You can actually uh, flip this, which is pretty good. So we motion another guy over. Like I said, don't be afraid to shift your defensive line. It's all about gap integrity, controlling the line of scrimmage. So now, boom, outside corner, puts it in a box. <clears throat> what if they do it to the other way and have the halfback leading out there for him? I would typically switch safeties, bring him down a little bit, switch safeties. Shadow, 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 boom, boxed. Now, there's not really... Unless they have wide receivers at tight end, there's not really enough passing from this for you to really be afraid of any kind of routes. Um, they're going to have corner routes, which are uh, soft squats will snap into cloud flats, and you should be fine. <clears throat> these two routes are, or these two zones right here do a good job at defending the early car route from compression because they flare out. So you should be good. Um, just look for any deep route. Um, typically they don't have like a streak going down the field. Even if they do, it's too slow of a guy for you to get beat deep. So that's pretty much how I've been defending heavy Panther. I haven't really had any problem with heavy Panther at all. Um, but like I said in the previous video, the only problems that I do have sometimes are from the I form H wing and the I form tight and strong eye because they're so super overloaded to one side. Um, it can become a, a little bit of an issue, but if you follow the setups in the other video and you do them religiously and you learn them, you should be just fine against the road.